Sally Heath. I'm studying a radiochemistry PhD at Loughborough. My name is Jason Garcia. I came from Spain and I'm studying chemistry, organic chemistry at Loughborough University. Hello, my name is Hakap Chung. I'm doing environmental MSc in Loughborough University. Well, ever since I was young, I've always wanted to be a scientist, really, and um, progressing from GCSE to A-level chemistry, then doing it as a degree. I chose Loughborough because of the sport uh, aspect of it, um, and I liked the look of the department, and then it was just the next step, really. Well, I mean, I did my uh, degree was chemistry and sports science, and so I wanted to sort of concentrate on the chemistry as aspect of it. And so, without sort of knowing what I wanted to do sort of professionally, I thought, well, you know, a PhD might be the route to go. When it came to finishing my degree, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, and I was talking to my uh, supervisor in radiochemistry about possible PhD ideas. And um, I knew I loved Loughborough already, um, and the PhD uh, that he described to me seemed like a good opportunity and a good way to progress my career in chemistry. I do love Loughborough. Um, and. I wanted to stay here, I knew that um, from my good undergraduate degree, I wanted to stay at Loughborough University, so it's the choice of finding the right PhD. The title of my uh, physical chemistry PhD is called uh, Advances in Electrochromism. Electrochromism is the changing of colour on a material via an electrical potential. I'm looking to perhaps coat windows with materials that can filter light and save on heating bills and reduce air conditioning costs. And this goes all the way through to displays and perhaps even sunglasses that can be turned on and off. My PhD is based in antibiotics and natural products. My aims are for not only pharmaceutical companies. I want to work and try to get some precursors for antibiotics. My PhD involves a three years degree. I have to pass an exam each year the first year and I am a master student and later I get a real PhD student. My PhD uh, involves the disposal of radioactive waste. Um, we're coming up with uh, solutions to try and dispose of radioactive waste. Uh, so any waste that you have from nuclear reactors or um, anything like that, any lab work that's done uh, that's contaminated something with radioactivity, the waste has to be disposed of, which is a big problem in the UK at the moment. So my PhD is involved with how to actually dispose of it. I started off looking at um, um, uh, conducting polymers, inorganic conducting polymers, and it sort of progressed from there to trying to actually uh, trap these sort of polymers inside uh, porous systems, uh, sort of zeolites, microporous systems, that we can then sort of um, hopefully um, give some sort of conductive properties to. I use uh, powder x-ray diffraction for, um, well mainly for characterization of the sort of porous systems that I have. Um, we can sort of, with the database there, we can sort of you know, match to say yes, we have got what, you know, what we wanted. And then we can look at how when we introduce other things into these systems, we can see, uh, we can look for any sort of trends and shifts in, in the actual data, sort of, you know, allow us to give some sort of characterisation to them. My time here at Loughborough have been in interested in the organic research side, um, following on that most of my modules I've been able to pick have revolved around uh, synthesising uh, organic research and uh, some of the biomedical uh, organics. I'm always interested in the environment and um, when I come to choosing courses this is one of my first choices. In Redix we, I learn about how to use the Diagra kit, we've been out to the, to the river when testing, we've done a uh, biological index testing and tried to catch some samples and then we, we find what, what certain uh, animal species living in the water and then we can identify how, uh, the sort of water quality within that river. So instead of taking all the samples back to a lab, we can actually analyse all the water sample outside. I'm doing my pharmaceutical and medicinal chemistry. It's mostly relates uh, with the drug and uh, the metabolism of drug, how it goes in the body and uh, how it's working in the body. Like The good thing about the uni is the practical. Where I didn't get to handle all this equipment in my undergrad. So it was like for the first time to me to get exposed to HPLCs or gas chromatographs or all this kind of equipment. And I'm um, really pleased with, by the way, the lab assistants and all are cooperating with us. So yeah, it's really good.
But I think everyone seems to settle in quite well. The courses are really well laid out and there's not really any problems. Um, I think postgraduates get quite a lot of support in the department at Loughborough. Um, through, you obviously have your supervisor, um, which is helping you throughout your PhD. But I've also found that there's a lot of areas within my research where I've had to talk to experts in different fields. So not just radiochemistry, but maybe physical or organic chemistry, inorganic. And I found all the staff quite approachable to go and, and chat to, to get ideas to further my research. And I'll see my supervisor at least once a day, maybe two or three times. We have long meetings, long discussions. We're in constant email contact. He'll come into the lab and help me if I'm working on something and we'll discuss where we want the project to go, what we need to do next and basically keep working towards the end of the PhD. And then we'll also maybe discuss further things in the project that we'd want to be done further down the line. Each year you have to listen to some seminars, conference, do problem sessions to improve your skills in chemistry. I'm doing organic chemistry but I think that is quite useful now in something not so much, but something about inorganic chemistry, analytical chemistry, and the other kinds of chemistry. Loughborough Uni University is, um, is a very nice place to study, and it's nice in the way I've combined the course, so I, I can base in both departments, so I can meet a lot of different people. Sometimes I have lectures in the chemistry department where I'll be in a big lecture theatres, or sometimes in a lab doing experiment. Sometimes I'll be in the Weddicks in the water engineering department. When I was in Pakistan, in my country, their communication was very quick and the overall admission procedure was very easy uh, um, compared to other universities. They have a very difficult procedure and a lot of requirements and documentation. Let's say you want to follow a career, you've got options within the department. Certainly our uh, department has uh, people that are uh, able to tell you about certain in industries which they're either involved in uh, or have contact through. I mean, there's two routes from a PhD. You go into research, really, if you want to stay in the discipline, that is. You go into research for industry or research for academia, um, and this is definitely the first step. I mean, it gives you a little insight into how um, students behave. I mean, I know everyone is a student, but it's very different becoming a postgraduate and observing as opposed to just being an undergraduate and being told what to do. And, um, it is a, it's a big help, and I know it's helped me make my decision.